Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you an example of how you can use side chain inside a compressor to obviously uh, create that side chain effect against a pad sound. Okay, before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So we just launched Logic Pro for iPad. We click on create project. We select tracks. Okay, next I want to actually um, create uh, an audio channel, but you could do the same using, for example, a MIDI uh, track instead of channel track. Um, next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the browser, open the uh, loops like so, and then um, perhaps uh, I'm going to um, select something uh, around, um, why not, round synth, perhaps, maybe a pad, and uh, let's choose these a float pad. Right, yes, it sounds really nice, so click and hold, drag and drop on the track area against the first audio track. Okay, let's select it, trim it a little bit as well so that we don't have that slow start at the beginning. Perhaps we trim it by one bar and then we also move it right at the beginning. We enable the cycle so it will keep repeating like so. Perfect. Next, we're going to add an additional track. We're going to go for a MIDI track. We're going to select the drum kit designer. If you don't know where it is, select instrument drum and drum drum kit designer. And then let's click on create. Now, here we're going to um, click um, somewhere on the track editor against that track number two and select create MIDI region. We are going to extend that for the four bars and we're going to open the piano roll to edit that MIDI region. We're going to click on the pencil here and then we're going to find the sound. This one would be okay. That will drive our side chain. So, and um, perhaps these, um, let's do something like that. And let's see what this sounds like, if it is fast enough. Perhaps we want something a little bit quicker than, uh, um, than this. So we're going to expand a little bit more so that we can have access to additional part of the grid because we have a snap on at the moment in auto. So we'll select the uh, snapping um, uh, accordingly to the zoom that you are in. But of course, if you don't want to do that, click on auto and then remove it and then you can select your subdivision or your snap value. I like to do auto so that when you zoom in and out, it will change the snapping um, values. Okay, so we have that done. Let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, that might be a little bit too uh, too fast. Let me try again without um, uh, some of the steps. Let's try like so first. And then, of course, we are going to change it if it doesn't work. We go back to trimming here, click and hold, and select uh, all the different notes. Then we're going to click on copy like so. And then we can, oops easily actually um, that's not right so uh, let's redo it at the beginning of the measure and then let's do the same on measure three, and then measure number four okay perfect so Okay, next we are going to mute that uh, uh, track so that you hear only the part on the first track. We select that track, we go to plugins, we have already a compressor there, so we enable it and then we double click to enter the details view and we maximize the view. Let's select Platinum Digital as a type 
and then uh, let's go what it said what it says here side chain internal change it to instrument instrument number one which is the truck where we have the drum kit designer and now let's do some configuration for example top the ratio lower the threshold um adjust the attack to a very minimal the same on the release remove auto release uh, do the side chain on pick uh, and let's see what it sounds like course you can disable it and you don't have any more that side chain right And of course you can go back now and change for example the pattern on this particular track so let's go inside the piano roll editor and um, zoom in and for example you could say well let's add some additional steps but of course that will depend let's select the pencil first let that will depend on what you want to do and also the configuration that you have uh, inside uh, uh, that compressor right let's do that for uh, the second and the fourth measure as well like so and let's click play now Voila, and this is how uh, you could do side chain um, with the input being a drum track and the output, of course, being in this case a pad, which is an audio track. But you could do the same with, for example, a MIDI track. You can load the software, software instrument and then record a MIDI region inside that region, for example, a chord. And then you apply the compressor to that uh, particular um midi uh, track and you follow the same process okay i hope you enjoyed and found it useful and as always see you next time bye